Okay, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to install Magic Zoom Plus onto your WordPress website. Okay, we're on the download page for Magic Zoom Plus for WordPress. Uh, if you just click on the download link, which is here, uh, and save that to your computer, you will need to stay on this page, keep it open, because we're going to need this code a little later on. Okay, now we're going to upload the plugin. So click on the plugins tab, uh, add new, and then upload. Then you want to choose file and install what you just downloaded, and then hit install now. All right, now click on activate plugin, and there you have it in the sidebar there. Okay, if you click on that tab, you'll see all the configuration and positioning options you have in Magic Zoom Plus. Okay, now that that's installed and activated, we need to get our pictures. Uh, the two pictures here, both exactly the same picture, apart from one is small and the other is large. Now we need to collect the image locations on our servers. So if we copy and paste that into Notepad, so copy, uh, open up Notepad, and paste that in there. So that's the smaller of the two. Now we need to do the same with the larger image. Again, so go into your li image library, open up the larger image, and then copy the image location, and then paste that into Notepad. All right, now that we have both those image locations, we're going to put them into our page. Now you can put this in your page or post, but I'm going to stick this into the page of my site. Uh, here is where I'm going to put the picture. Uh, on top of the text and under the title. So what we need to do now is collect this code here as it has the magic zoom bit here that we need to activate the zoom. So copy and paste that into the where you want to have the image. Paste there. Right, now you can see that you've got the big image JPEG there and you've got the small JPEG there. This is where we get those codes we used earlier. So that's the small image. Copy that image location and then paste it where it says small JPEG. Paste that in there. Do the same with the larger image as well. That's the large one. Copy that and paste that in the big JPEG location there. Uh, so now if we update the page or publish and then we view the post uh, click on this tab here and there's the image there and you can see that you have you move your mouse over the image or click to enlarge so that's that there if you move the mouse cursor over and you can see we've got the zoom in actions there it's also if we click on it we get the full image so if we close that down Okay, I'll show you some of the configuration options we have. I will just change this text here. So if we go to our plugin, and in our configurations and settings screen, just scroll down, and then we'll come across the text under that image, which is here. Now, there it is there. So what we're going to do is we're going to change this text change text I'll just get rid of this little section here and then we'll just add to zoom in just change that okay and then go to the bottom of the screen and click on save settings and then if we go and view the page again we'll change this text here refresh the page and there you have it change that text there under the image Right, and okay, I'll show you another quick configuration you can have. If you click on the image, you see the way it expands to the full larger image, and there it goes, fades back in again. We can actually change that setting. Uh, so if we just scroll down, come to the option here, effect while expanding image, and effect while restoring image. So if we click on elastic for expanding, and then bounce when it's restoring. You can play around with these settings once you, you get to know Magic Zoom Plus a little better. 
So we click on Save Settings, uh, go back to the page and refresh. And then when we click on the image, you'll see that there's a difference in the way it expands and restores. I'll do that again. It's the, the elastic and then the bounce effects. Okay, I'll show you one last configuration. Uh, I'll show you the zoomed in area. Uh, you've got the area and the area there, the width and the height. Uh, we'll just change those over. Uh, I'll change that to 400 and I'll change the height by 250 just so you can see the difference in sizes. Uh, again, if you scroll down and save settings, then if we go to our page and refresh and if you hover over the image you'll see that the area has now changed in size and that's how to install Magic Zoom Plus onto your WordPress website